Welcome to Bad Things, where we try something new every day. Let's go. Okay guys, we're out here, hashtag vlogging. Welcome to another vlog. Today, I'm going to be doing step-by-step -step painting. Kind of Bob Ross-esque, except not with Bob Ross because I'm using acrylic paints because they dry faster. I'm super excited about this hobby because I have put so much work into organizing it because this hobby out of all the hobbies I've done has been the hardest to organize because it takes the most materials and the most specific of material. I feel like I put so much work into preparing to do the hobby. I'm just ready to have fun and try out the hobby. So I think it will be fun. I am nervous that I will be just as bad at painting step by step as I am at, you know, painting, but <laughs> we'll just have to see. Obviously you'll get to come along for the journey. So I just wanted to let you know who I am following along with for my step-by-step -step painting. Obviously I'm following along on YouTube. Her name is Tracy Kiernan. She's an elementary art teacher and she, I'm watching her video, How to Paint a Beach. And so I'm really excited. I love the beach and I'm excited that hopefully I'll have a painting that looks somewhat like a beach by the time we're through with this. If you wanted to see my setup, we're kind of over here. I need to pour my paint, paint select my brushes. And we're good to go. I did think I should show you what brushes I'm using today. So I'm using this thin brush. It's round and has like a little bit of a point. I'm using this fan brush, which I mean, looks like a fan. Very important to step-by-step -step painting, I've learned. This brush that has a little bit of a wider stroke so that I can kind of, you know, and then this one that's kind of similar to the last one, but different because it said that you kind of needed two like that. So we'll see. You guys, I have not even poured my paints yet. And I'm getting so nervous because all of these memories of all of the art that I have ever done are coming back to me and it's never been successful. So I'm like, Thad, what are you doing? Three paints have been poured. I'm gonna just start painting with these three. And I switched shirts because I realized painting can get quite messy. And right now I feel like, ah, because like, I just don't know what color blue they want me to use where. So I'm getting nervous, but it's okay. Calm thoughts. Look at that, everybody. I've done my sky. I took off my painter's tape and I feel like that's at least skyish. I had to blend up. I don't know. I feel like this is a good start. I'll keep you posted. Okay. I have now made this color by mixing my turquoise and my blue that color, and then I've created the top of the ocean. Oh, there's my finger. And now I have to do some turquoise kind of in here. So we'll see what that looks like. And look at that. As long as I make sure that I'm always blending up, I'll show you what blending up is like. Like I paint this color here, and then I have to go up, 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 up to just blend the colors so that as Tracy would say, there's no color blocks. Anyways, as long as I do that, it looks pretty good. So that's our current status. It's sand time, so I need to combine these co colors, three parts of that color to one part of that color. I'm gonna put you on time lapse, everybody. Status update, at least all of the canvas is covered. So now I need to do details starting with a line here. Okay, so like I said, I'm supposed to just be doing a thin kind of outline of my shoreline. So that's probably a little bit thicker than I should have done, but yeah, <laughs> let's see what's next. Now my job is to kind of cover these lines that I do with little circular kind of sea foam. And so it's actually good because the lines that I did were actually rather terrible. So we're hoping my sea foam is much better. And it's supposed to be like these circular movements. And right now I'm using a Crayola brush. It's the worst brush that I have out. Um, and maybe I don't recommend Crayola brush, but I mean, I feel like it's looking more ocean-like now. 
This is supposed to be like a tealy white. Sea foam is complete. Now I need to add some light water lines. So I'll try to show you how I'm going to do that. It's with white, but it's supposed to be very light. And it's supposed to be like, it would be like a little water line, like up here, like, you know, the water line. And then like maybe a water line right here, you know, and maybe a little water line right there, a water line right there and just kind of embellishments like that. You see, I've added some texture, everybody. This wave over here, that was quite the time, but I feel like it's starting to look kind of cool. Like I'm quite the painter, honestly. I mean, <laughs> okay, I'm kind of lying to you guys. I'm not really quite the painter, but it looks slightly more like a beach ocean than I expected, but only slightly. Wow, look at this explosion of details. Obviously, Thad loves a detailed ocean <laughs> where he got a little bit carried away because he thought that every stroke or tap he did would make it look better. And instead, <laughs> most of the taps made it look worse. But, you know, it's still on the path to being a beach ocean. Next stop is making the sun up in the sky over here. Okay, I'm not very proud of this sun, but I used a Q-tip because that's what was recommended and I told you I'd show you the sun, so I'm showing it to you, so enjoy. Next up is clouds. Okay, I decided to show you how to make a cloud because um, I'm not very good at it and that way you guys can be my little support system as I'm really on this adventure. Okay, so you load your brush with just the teeniest little bit of white and use this like fan brush because it looks like a fan. <laughs> Okay, and then you notice I've already done some clouds, but then you can touch the canvas and kind of go up like this. And then it kind of creates a little bit of like a swooping cloud. I'm not very good at loading brushes. Fun fact, learned that today. So we're just kind of adding, maybe there's a cloud there, a little bit of white. Like, doo -doo -doo. See, that's way too much paint. Like. How can I not go somewhere that's like actually the right amount of paint? You guys, it's done. I added some texture on the beach that looks like more gritty sand and I am done. So I hope that you really appreciated watching this masterpiece just come to true life. I used so many different colors. Like look at all of these different colors that I made. It's just, wow. And I did it all from six different colors. So, yeah. I need to work on my brush stroke stuff because everything always comes out more thick than I'm expecting. But it's done. And now I will proudly just proclaim this as my artwork. So I wrapped up my step-by-step -step painting. And it was actually fun to see the final result. It was a little bit stressful in the process though because I felt like I just couldn't get the right amount of paint on my brush. I felt like I couldn't like do the right strokes on the canvas and so I was very frustrated because it looked very easy on the video I was following and very hard in real life. But at the same time it was really cool and I'm glad that I did it because I think it's a cool experience. Now I have something from it, an actual painting, that I can keep as long as I want to. Anyways, I recommend this hobby if you like painting or if you like kind of art, if you are somebody who gets frustrated by projects like this or by the time deadline of paint drying, then maybe not as much of a hobby for you. Anyways, go like, comment, and subscribe on this video and I'll see you next time.